Hey, it's Ron again. So we've worked up to Lab 7, uh, which is CDP. CDP is the Cisco Discovery Protocol. And the things that I find important about uh, CDP is that uh, it's enabled by default on Cisco routers and switches. Uh, it's enabled on every fa interface by default. It sends out announcements every 60 seconds uh, and has a hold time of 180 seconds. Uh, also, it's a layer 2 protocol, uh, which means it does not require an IP address to work. It sends what's, it's goes out in what's called an Ethernet multicast, uh, which, to be honest, is a new concept to me. Uh, but in, you know, in looking at this for, for this lab, it is uh, an Ethernet multicast. Uh, so, you can search for it with packet tracer uh, and you have to search for it in a, a specific manner but you know I'll, I'll show you how it shows up uh, so let's jump into uh, our routers uh, we're gonna be consulting into router B and router C uh, to kinda see what they see uh, and kinda throw some commands at CDP uh, and see what happens so we got router B router C Router B is our hub router. Router C is one of our spokes. So if we do a show CDP, notice by default it's running every 60 seconds, has a hold time of 180, and it's sending CDP version 2. All right. So every 60 seconds, uh, my router sends packets uh, and should be receiving packets from other routers, assuming they're also configured for 60 seconds. If I don't see them after 180 seconds, I'm going to assume that, that we're no longer connected. All right, I can do a show CDP interface. This is going to show uh, all my interfaces uh, that have CDP configured for them. All right, so it gives you a little breakdown. You know, here's the status, here's the encapsulation. So we have ARPA, this is our Ethernet port. HDLC, this is a serial port. It's enabled every 60 seconds, hold time 180. All right. So basically, I've got CDP running on every pro or on every port, pretty much that this router has. So if we do a show CDP question mark, these are the different uh, commands that I can throw at it. So let's try out uh, neighbor. All right. So I see router A. Alright, I do not see router C, which I should see, so we'll we'll have to troubleshoot that. Uh, but I have a local interface, hold time, capability, platform, and port ID. Alright, so I've gotten this wrong a number of times uh, to include uh, videos that I've made. Uh, but uh, the local interface is exactly what it says. It's the local interface. So on my serial 00, zero I'm connected to router A. And router A uh, is connected to me via its serial 01. All right? I've gotten those flip-flopped a number of times. Uh, if you're troubleshooting a network remotely, it's kind of important to understand that. Uh, I've often found that I use CDP uh, when I'm ro remoting into a network uh, and I don't know how everything is cabled up together. I'll run a, a show CDP. I get a quick snapshot. Okay, I'm in router C, and router C is, or in this case, router B. Router B is connected to router A, uh, and, and these are the interfaces that are important to me. All right. Uh, when doing it remotely, you you might be going into some type of a, a distribution switch, and that distribution switch might have 10 other switches connected to it so it can easily uh, get quite confusing uh, how everything's cabled up uh, but CDP kinda helps you sort that out especially when there's no documentation which you know I've often found that there isn't uh, so that shows CDP neighbor uh, so we covered the interface we have a hold time capability and platform platform is just the type of router so this is a 2610 our router so it's a 2610 router or it has the capability of being a router so your layer 3 switches uh, might show up as an R as well and hold down or hold time so this is a countdown timer so if I run the command again 
and then run the command again notice that it's counting down so I should if CDP's running uh, or pushing packets every uh, 60 seconds I should never you know see this go below 60 because it should continually get updates uh, or I should never see it really go below 120 uh, I should see it stay up in that range that way I know okay they're, they're still talking all right so if I do a uh, I'm gonna hit an up arrow and do a question mark so there's a show CDP neighbor detail and this one gives me a little bit more information so router a has uh, this IP address uh, is what it it announced to me all right again we know the ports the the top the platform that its capabilities but we also know now the iOS version that that router is running all right which is pretty cool if, if you're uh, remoting into a network and you're trying to make sure that uh, all your devices are running an up-to-date iOS you don't have to remote into every single device you might again just remote into that distribution switch that they're all hooked to anyway uh, and then do a show CDP neighbor detail and you can quickly find out what iOS version all of them are running uh, which is pretty cool uh, another command show CDP again we'll do the question mark we have entry up there and star and protocol all right if I get spell right all right so this is a quick snapshot so we get just the host name and its IP address so again if I'm if I'm remoting into a network and I'm just trying to work my way down the rabbit hole to find some end device this is a quick way for me to say okay I'm hooked to this device uh, and this is its IP so now I'll use that IP to remote into that device do a show CDP entry or show CDP entry star protocol again okay these are all the devices that are hooked to hit and these are their IPs and I'll use one of those IPs to go to the next device so as long as my host names are configured in a, uh, a logical manner you know I can very quickly identify okay I need to go to this device and oh here's a IP. you know very very useful command all right so now let's uh, troubleshoot why we're not getting anything from uh, router C so we'll do a debug CDP question mark we got packets all right so I should see every 60 seconds I'm gonna send packets uh, and every 60 seconds I should be receiving packets all right so we'll wait for that uh, to go but in the meantime let's hop down here we'll do a show CDP oh wait CDP is not enabled somebody turned CDP off I wonder who that would be anyway so you can disable CDP on a router uh, and you might do that for a number of reasons you just don't want to use CDP on your network that's your prerogative uh, I typically leave it enabled but I'll turn it off on a per port basis I don't send CDP out uh, on interfaces that I know that are going to be connected to users uh, I only want it on ports that I have connected to my other routers, switches, devices of that sort. Uh, I'll disable it on ports that I know are going to places like the internet, because uh, again, I, d I don't necessarily care to uh, send those announcements out to just anybody. All right, so let's go ahead and turn CDP on. Also, notice while I was talking that uh, we went ahead and we received a CDP packet from router A. Uh, and entry was found in the cache so it already knew about router A so there was no new information and then it went ahead and sent out uh, version 2 packets on 00 and 01 alright so coming back here we'll do a config T we'll do a CDP question mark we have a CDP run alright CDP run turns CDP on for the entire router so as soon as I uh, turned that on, it went ahead and sent out packets. Notice we've got router C up here uh, on interface serial 01. So it's receiving packets from router A on 00 
and now it's receiving packets from router C on 0, 01. And this entry was not found in the cache, so it went ahead and added it. So if we do a show CDP neighbor, now we have router C and router A. Alright? So let's take this off. So we're going to do a U all, which is undebug all. Show CDP neighbor, or let's do a show CDP entry star protocol. Again, I misspelled protocol. All right, so again, router C, router A, IP, IP. Pretty useful command. All right, so what if I wanted to uh, turn it off of one of my interfaces? Let's say Ethernet 00. I'm running an old router, yes, yes. But uh, I want to turn it off on that interface because it's connected to a host or it's connected to some other device that's, that's not a Cisco router or a Cisco switch. Well, I can go into the interface, Ethernet 00. I can do a no CDP question mark enable. Alright, so it's CDP enable on an interface and it's CDP run in global configuration. Alright, CDP run turns it off for the whole router. Uh, CDP enable uh, is just for that one port. Alright, so now uh, if I do a do, do show CDP interface, I only have it on serial 00 and serial 01. I no longer uh, have it on uh, Ethernet 00. Alright, so, so those are the, the important things that I, I use uh, with CDP on the router. Uh, we covered show, C, show CDP to make sure it was running the, that's the defaults show CDP interface will show you uh, which ports are running CDP show CDP neighbor uh, will give you a, a snapshot of the host names uh, what ports are coming in what their capabilities are uh, what type of router they are then if you want a little bit more information you can do a show CDP neighbor detail it'll show you the IP address as well as the uh, iOS version uh, but again, I find it just as useful just to do a show CDP entry star protocol because all I care about is who is it, what's their IP. All right. So if we want to look at a CDP packet, or again, we're talking layer two, so these are really frames. Uh, let me see here. I got Wireshark. There we go. So this is uh, a CDP uh, capture that I did uh, earlier in the day. So protocol CDP. This one came in on fast ether zero zero because I had my computer pl uh, plugged up to it. But this destination is what's important. So this is an Ethernet multicast. All right, and uh, that is the same multicast that's always used for CDP. So if you're doing a, a capture of all this traffic on your network and you just wanted to see the CDP entries or you wanted to filter out the CDP entries you could use filter by that destination All right. and again Cisco discovery protocol under here it's just going to give you the same information that you got uh, running the commands in the router this is version 2 uh, this is uh, the platform the port, um, this is the host ID, so it, it pretty much gives you all the same information. This is just how it packages it. But I think that the important thing to remember is this is a layer two, so you're not going to see IP addresses in here unless it's an IP that uh, the router is saying, this is my IP on that interface. It's not sending a, uh, a source and destination IP, it just includes this IP down in here saying this is my ports IP address alright it's an Ethernet multicast and it's always going to come up for that destination address so that's pretty much it for CDP uh, that's that's what I, I think is important uh, I hope you learned something uh, go ahead and try it uh, on your network uh, let me know how it works 
if you have any questions shoot me an email uh, I'll try to answer them uh, as best I can so uh, thanks for